Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be cleaning and organizing my fridge and freezer to get them an aesthetically pleasing and functional look along with my weekly grocery haul, including prices. So if you wanna see this, then just keep on watching. I'm gonna start by taking everything out of the fridge so I can start cleaning it and also washing the containers. You can see that the fridge is slightly empty. I did had a container with ground beef in there. A night before we were gonna make some dinner with the ground beef, but it was frozen. So I asked my son to put it in the fridge and he did, but he didn't put it in a container with the lid. So that's why it was like that. But don't worry, I did made some dinner on that day with the ground beef. And so nothing went to waste. I did took out everything from the doors as well, except for the other door. I did left the jars in there since I knew that all of those were up to date. And so they really didn't need or I really didn't need it to take them out. I did give them a quick clean, but other than that, I didn't want to take them out of there since that side of the door, it's really narrow. Not a lot of the jars that I have will fit in there. And those are like the only ones that fit. <music> I'm going to go ahead and clean the fridge with this method all-purpose cleaner in the scent citron. Since this time the fridge wasn't dirty, I just wanted to give them a quick wipe down, especially on the shelves. They weren't that dirty. Every time they are extremely dirty, I would probably do like a deep, deep clean on them at least once a month. But ever since I did started with the method on organizing my fridge with the fruits and the vegetables on the containers the fridge has been maintaining a little bit more cleaner <music> The only area that I took out of the fridge was this drawer on that bottom part. It always gets really dirty. I really don't know why. It It's just a sliding one and usually on the bottom I only maintain like the eggs and the tortillas. But for some reason there's always some food down there and so yeah that's why I took that one out. I'm gonna go ahead and dry out these containers with just paper towels so that way I can have them ready for the food. All right, before I put all of my groceries away, I'm gonna give you guys a quick haul of the items that I got. I went to Costco and Sprouts to get all of this. I usually go to those two stores. I do have other stores that I'd love to go, but usually my grocery uh, for the week or for two weeks, I always end up going to Sprouts and Costco. The fruits and vegetables at Sprouts are always super fresh and I just love how they have so many variety when it comes to fruits. So I will be putting up the prices of everything that I've got and these prices are from here in Arizona. In case you want to know, because I know that other areas are a little bit different on prices, but this ones are prices from Arizona. So I got some um, eggs. I usually get this ones every two weeks because my kids eat a lot of eggs and the prices are going to be somewhere up here. 
I did get some cucumbers at Sprouts, some yellow corn. We got two pineapples. This new melon, it's brand new. I've never tasted it before and I wanna try it. So I'm really excited to try this one out. I usually get this one, the golden honeydew, and it's really sweet. This is brand new as well. I cannot remember the name of it. If I find it on the receipt, I will let you know what is it. But for this one, I'm really excited to cut it out right now and you guys will see. I do get different types of potatoes because I love the different textures and when you do your meals, the texture of the potatoes are different. So I got the russet potatoes, white potatoes, red potatoes. I did got two jams. These ones are brand new as well. I have never tasted this ones. Um, they are called... If I find the name of this um, peaches, I'll let you guys know, but they are really rare. At least I've never seen them before. This is my first time, so I'm, I'm excited to try this ones out as well. I got some plums, some regular peaches. I got some Fuji apples, um, Granny Smith apples. I got some red tomatoes, some jalapenos, some serranos. I got some limes. We also got some sprouts, some radishes, mangoes, a bell pepper. I got the green one, the yellows, and the orange. I only get one of each because not all my kids love, well, actually none of them like the bell pepper, but they are really good. And my oldest knows that they are really healthy and he's been eating it more lately. I got some bananas. This is not my favorite fruit, but I know that because my oldest kids are doing exercise more often, they really need a lot of bananas. <laughs> then I got some broccoli. I got some uh, asparagus. We got some uh, uncooked flour tortillas at Costco. This one, I had it to get it this time. I usually get the shredded one, but my husband really doesn't like the shredded one. And I got this one at Costco, which it was on sale. We got some um, blueberries, some blackberries, strawberries. I got some yogurt. This is, again, the second time I get this ones, and they are really good. The only one that my kid haven't tasted, it's the lemon, but I've tasted the lemon one. It's really good. I haven't tasted the strawberry or the blueberry, but those two, my kids enjoy them a lot. So since they were still on sale, I wanted to get it again. I did got some um, bakery bread, some milk. I transfer from the 2% to the skim milk, but my husband hated it. So I had to get some more milk. I end up going to the dollar store to get some ramen. My husband wanted to get some, eat some ramen for dinner. That's why I got the sprouts. And I couldn't find any ramen at sprouts, at least not the ones that we've tasted before. And I didn't want to risk it on the ramen. So I end up going to the dollar store and get this one because for some reason, Walmart doesn't have the ramen that we usually get, or at least the brand from ramen, and Fry's doesn't either. And then I end up also getting some um, detergent, gain detergent, which it was on sale. Baby, can't you figure it out? What's going on in your heart? What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? What's it gonna take for you to show, take for you to show me? the fruits and vegetables with water and a little bit of vinegar and i will be switching the water constantly so that way i won't have to use the same water for every fruit and vegetables i will be trying to combine some of the fruits and vegetables together for example the berries i do clean them or wash them together and the strawberries i've been cutting it like this for the past uh probably like three weeks and this method you will save a lot of strawberry because usually i would put the strawberries with all the stem but the kids will cut it down and they would literally cut half of the strawberry out and i feel that this way we can literally eat the whole strawberries without taking any strawberry out i don't know if i'm making sense but yeah 
I will be doing that and then like I said the apples they're they're all gonna be washed together and all of like the peaches and nectarines and all of those are gonna be together and for the rest I will be putting it by itself <laughs> Backwards, yeah. Time's about run out to use those big words, yeah. I don't need convincing at all because I know what I want. Mm -hmm. Baby, dig deep, it's time to make a move on my heart. What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? Twenty percent of the fruits and vegetables were cut and for the most part everything else was just washed and put in the fridge and whole i don't like to cut the apples or the peaches and all of those type of fruits because they do get oxidized and the kids won't eat them like that so that's why i just wash them and for this week's uh vegetables i did went ahead and cut all of the bell peppers i knew that i was going to use a few of them in different meals for this week and i just like to cut them because my oldest knows that this type of vegetable has a lot of good vitamins and so he really doesn't like them but i know that if i have them in, in pieces cut he will probably eat them in like salads or maybe with some dressings and i did put all of the potatoes in the pantry and then for the asparagus the way i cut the asparagus is i will wash them and i will snap the ends of the asparagus if you snap them whatever the hard part will come easily and then all the tender will stay so this is just the easiest way for me to cut it really surprised with the color of this melon and it tastes so so sweet it's kind of like a combination between the honeydew and the cantaloupe but with the consistency in between because you know how the honeydew it's like more smooth and then the cantaloupe it's a little bit more like like if you're eating dirt or i don't know that that's just how i feel that they taste but they were really really sweet i think this is my favorite season for fruits and vegetables as well because in winter you don't get a lot of variety for fruits but for summer i freaking love watermelon and cantaloupes honeydew and that one was really really delicious from there i'm just gonna go ahead and fill out all of the extra containers like the eggs i do have another fridge on the on the garage and so i will put the extra eggs on the other one and then i'm just gonna go ahead and clean this lazy susan i love this lazy susan it has been such a helpful way of me to put all of these jars because most of these jars don't fit on the doors they're really like narrow like i said at the beginning and i would always end up with a lot of jars everywhere i do want to switch them to like a clear containers but for now it will do like this just so it could look more aesthetically pleasing. For now, I do love how I have all of these containers. I 
was planning on putting labels on them but since every week it's different fruits and vegetables i feel like if i do the labels that i'm just gonna have to stick with the same fruits and vegetables every week so that's one of the reasons why i don't put the labels but probably i will put like fruits and vegetables and then snacks i don't know what do you guys think let me know down in the comments and then also for the lazy susans i hope hoping later in the future i will switch to like clear ones and then on those i will be putting labels because ketchup and other um dressings i do get them weekly or not weekly but at least every time they're all gone i do get them the only thing that i put on the jars were the milk i did put the gallons of milk but like that but then i totally forgot that i got these jars at target and they look really really nice they literally look aesthetically pleasing my kids were making fun of me because i put them next to the wine Car and go driving towards another town After we were done with the fridge now it's time to clean this freezer i think i haven't cleaned this freezer in the past month and a half if more i think and so i was really surprised this time that i was cleaning it because every time i clean this freezer i will have so much trouble to clean it through the inside i would always see the bottom part super dirty like this side and I would always ask myself how would i be able to clean that area until now that i figure it out i was able to take the drawers out of the freezer and give them a deep clean there was still a little bit ice on the back and i don't know if my fridge is go going to break down i'm hoping that it won't i do have insurance this time so hopefully it won't break but if it do then i will probably just gonna have to go for the insurance but i was really excited that i was able to take this out my husband was just laughing at me because i was like extremely happy this is when you know you're getting old that you get really excited for little things like this <laughs> And now that we have the inside clean, now it's time to clean the outside so that way it can complement the entire cleaning process. I will be using the Wayman's product in uh, spray and then I will just be using regular Windex to clean the little window in the middle. It sometimes gets me a hard time to clean the middle part because the wayman product will go like in the little window and by the time i'm cleaning it with like the windex it's just a little bit hard but it's not impossible it makes it it makes it work a little tip that i will give you guys here it's to i do take out the bananas out of the stems just by itself so it would last a little bit longer I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up also subscribe if you made it to the end that means you really enjoy this content and i hope you do thank you so much for being here with me all the way to the end and i will see you guys in the next video bye